The observatory structure is built of concrete blocks up to a height of about uh, four and a half feet. And on top of that will be mounted the dome that rotates for the telescope to look through. Uh, we've already done a lot of work on the footings and the laying the concrete base and the reinforcing for the pier that the telescope will be mounted on. And uh, Hamish has kindly just laid the first of the concrete blocks. Thank you very much, Hamish. Not at all, my pleasure. <laughs> That's probably the best for you to use. Okay. The, the... Will, you, will you have your own line for straightness of the wall? Yeah, it's, I mean, it, it's fairly good, but not perfect. Plasterer. Yeah? Who's that? Read the name. What a lovely part, man. Got wet. I really ought to pick out two Wessex Astronomical Society members who turned out knew as much about building as they did about astronomy. That's Brian Carter and John Hooker. They've put in a sterling amount of work on it. The money for the observatory was raised over the past year by the Wessex Astronomical Society. A large part of it was from a successful application to the National Lottery from their Awards for All Fund. And the membership of the Society contributed a substantial part of it from just individual donations and, and from the uh, reserves of the society. And the rest, the last bit, came from Dorset County Council. A lot of the hard work on this has been done by members of Friends of Dorset Working Parties uh, and from the members of the society. Helped out, of course, by the, the rangers and the volunteers. So it's below. The, the rim. So we can do that, you know, a couple of us can do that. You know, want to take this off again then? No, I just want to try rotating it. Try and turn it. Which way around? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 it turns. Okay, it's, it's rubbing. It's quite rubbing, yeah, it is, yeah. That's so not good. It's been really gratifying to, to have had the support we have from the uh, local Swanage building trades craftsmen. Uh, help with uh, building the walls, rendering the walls and felting the roof all around the dome. And all their time was donated free.
The Wessex Astronomical Society is a registered charity. Uh, it's been in existence in its present form for at least 30 years. Uh, within the project, we're funding a quite expensive uh, astronomical CCD camera. And uh, we're establishing a link from the dome into here. So most of our events will consist of talk plus observing. And during the talk, we can get things up through the telescope and display them on the screen here as well. So I salute you for what you've achieved. I hope you find whatever psychological and spiritual serenity when you look through that telescope. But you are lucky, lucky people to have an eye to a universe of which we are a small part, but unquestionable participants. Thank you very much. I officially unveil this wonderful black. Big round of applause. We've got a special camera we can attach to the telescope and these are typical of some of the images we're getting already. Finding the mount tilt, and then it finds north, uh, then it finds level. And it's got a GPS unit in it, so it knows exactly where it is on the Earth's surface. 